Aries, it's L here to do a quick reading for you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Physically abusive. I don't know if you are being abused or someone is physically abusive. You are. I don't know. Let's talk about it. I just wanted to flip out of the deck. Let me get some cards falling on the floor. Thank you, God, for blessing Aries with a clear, concise message from you. So we got the Queen of Swords. Maybe you put a stop to this. You're not going to be abused anymore. Yep. With the Hierophant in reverse. This could even be that a relationship, a marriage was physically abusive. Somebody was just, um, I heard like verbally and physically abusive to you. You left. <coughs> You're done with it. Some of you could even feel like the abuse was physical because um, maybe you felt like somebody just didn't contribute enough to the relationship. They put everything on you. So it was like a heavy load. If it wasn't physical in terms of them putting their hands on you and hurting you, harming you, it was more so you just let me do everything. You know, this is physically taxing. It's wrong. It's too much. Some of you just you can't. So you might have been in some unconventional type of marriage, maybe where you were the woman was the breadwinner. You know, I know it's becoming normal or whatnot. Yeah, but um, yeah, maybe this is what you were in. You were the one that was holding it all together. You spent a whole lot of money or they made you do a whole lot by yourself. Okay. Now you're in a place of healing or you're telling this person you need to heal. There's somebody else in your life, too. There's somebody that you're communicating with uh, telepathically. You also may be getting some ideas that you need to go ahead and start that business. You need to put it out there. Somebody could be lying on your name and telling everybody that you are a whore. You got around. You, you did this. You did that. While at the same time being lovesick over you. Someone could even be telling other people that you left them for the side person or side man, side woman, that you had somebody at work that you were dealing with, or you were cheating while at work. You had the hermit card that you abandoned. You just jump ship. Um, there's somebody here who maybe you have abandoned. You did jump ship with nine of swords. Whomever this is, they're not in a good place. Not mentally. Uh, they may not be sleeping at night. They may have headaches. They may have aches in their body. They may be night shift workers or they like do shift work. They're either up late at night or they're up early in the morning. Um, they're by themselves. They work by themselves. The high priestess. Looks like it's two people not talking. You know, some two people holding their peace. Um, there's nothing to say or, or someone doesn't know how to bring it back together. Uh, there is the high priestess here who knows that the other person wants to talk to them, wants to be around them, um, wants to love back. Yeah, the king of wands. It could be Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, Sagittarius, and male cancer being highlighted here. Um, it looks like this is somebody who's desiring. Somebody's got someone in their heart's desire. They have to see the bigger picture or they want to have sex with or they desire to have this person or they hadn't really got it all mapped out, uh, but they know that they want this person in their life. Five of cups, they could be sulking, um, you know, sulking over the fact that, you know, the relationship is gone. Somebody missed the mark or missed, you know, missed the opportunity. Um, there was a setback in the relationship. Um, someone was tired of maybe third party or other people interfering. Um, somebody wanted some unconventional type of relationship here. Someone did spend a whole lot of money on you or someone made you do a whole lot of work or somebody that would spend a whole lot of money on you. You could be communicating with you telepathically. They need to heal though. There could have been physical abuse or maybe indication that this person would physically abuse you or it was like verbal it was verbal. Um, it could have been even in the bedroom. Maybe this person did something that you did not like in the bedroom with the Hierophant in reverse. The death card. Yeah, the relationship ended. Somebody feels like there's opportunity to come back, though. The relationship can be recovered if somebody changes, heals. The page of wands. Somebody just wants to come back and have, like, a makeup session, you know? Um, 
a false start. The moon card. Yes, yeah, someone is definitely fantasizing about the other, dreaming about the other, having vivid dreams. Something is contrary to what you say you really want in your life. Therefore, you may be staying away from it or the universe is keeping you away from it or trying to give you vivid dreams about the fact that this is not who you want. Not right now. If not ever, not right now. Yeah, the Empress. Um, whomever you're dealing with may be getting negative karma and you're getting positive karma. Okay? Or a positive things are happening in your life. Yeah, somebody's under judgment. Can't make it up. Ten of Wands, somebody's getting negative karma. They're getting what they deserve. They're having to deal with this heavy load, this burden, burden of not being with you, of taking you for granted, of maybe comparing you uh, to something else, contrasting the relationship to something else or another relationship. This is somebody here who had you engaging in something where you didn't know where it was going. Someone had no intention for you. Um, and they, that's why they took you know you for granted or took advantage of the connection. Or this is what you did, Aries. Eight of Wands, now somebody's trying to manifest you back. Queen of Wands, maybe even sexually. When they think of you, um, this is somebody who like is an authority type of job. King of Wands and the King of Swords. This is somebody who, you know, they live and they thrive off of freedom. They want their freedom. They don't want to be, you know, held down. They don't want to be told what to do. This is somebody here who just wants it how they want it. They, they could want to be the bachelor forever, the eternal bachelor. They could be a bit narcissistic. You know, uh, let's see what else is going on here. What is the future energy for Aries in a particular person? So this person may gift you something, maybe by the next holiday or your birthday. Maybe they may even try to come over, uh, journey towards you, visit you. Um, maybe even try to get you occupied or preoccupied on them again. Some of you need to start your own business or you're going to go down that journey of starting your own business. Wealthy man, yeah, someone wants you occupied. They want all of your attention on them. They don't want you to focus on anything else. Yep, all of your attention on them. They, they're always thinking about what you're doing. They're very curious about you, uh, curious about what you're doing, your whereabouts day to day, especially if you date this person. If you get in a relationship with them, they're going to date you with purpose of your mind. They're going to treat you like a possession. Yeah, concern. This person could even be at times depressive or in a depressive state or they can make you depressed or they can take breaks from you or they need time to recuperate. High honor. Um, they may even need time to ponder about the next move here with you or should they marry you or will you guys get married or will you make it official or they um, some public declaration, declaration can't make it up. Marriage. Official person. So this person may be in, um, I heard a band. But this person may be in like the military or police officer or somebody has stripes or uh, awards or declarated or declaration or something like that. Um, this might even be a, a big one and they may even publicly declare their love for you. It's like somebody wants to date you specifically for the idea of marriage. Okay. And they feel like with you, this is the best sex ever. But you may even feel like they need to get some spiritual awareness. You may have even caught this person cheating. You could be a white witch. You just want good things for good people. This person trying to keep you as a hookup on the weekend, trying to keep you as a side woman or a side man. They were being used by somebody else and they knew it. And they were a big flirt. They came off lazy as all get out in regards to you. Um, they're also in a relationship with somebody who's lazy and this relationship is driving them crazy. Their husband or their wife doesn't contribute financially. Somebody talks too much or they feel like they can talk to you for hours. Somebody is in a sexless marriage here and they just don't do well on one-on-one -on -one connections. They could want you to unblock them. You could deal in the capacity of child abuse or child misuse or this person dealt with child abuse early on in their life. Um, so that's why they feel like they're undeserving of real love. So they may even have been, you know, had to grow up fast. They're lying to everyone about how they really feel about you. You may just be in the energy of just apologize. They see you as super independent. And of course you're getting these vivid dreams about this person. Yeah, they could have dealt with neglectful parenting or they are, um, 
a neglectful parent or they dealt with it growing up. And that's why they're addicted to love. You know, they're addicted to the loving vibrations. They also like the fact that you're smart or you're, you know, you can, you can read, right? I don't know. Um, whomever this is, it just seems as if they got a lot of healing to do. It's a long journey to healing so that they can be the person that you need them to be. Or this is you, Aries. It looks like somebody shows out or shows their affection by way of sexual activity. And they go after things that they're um, passionate about. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. Somebody wants a, a more committed relationship with you. But they're holding on to the past or holding on to the past. They need to deal with some deep seated issues. They need to deal with maybe sexuality issues also. They, they lack consistency, commitment. They may already be in a marriage or married to themselves and they may have money and they don't know if they will marry or if they can't marry or they're, they're afraid. This is what I have for you, Aries. If it resonates, go over to the website, book your own reading there. Ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. Um, if you're a business-minded individual, go ahead and sign up for the monthly KTMG Keep the Momentum Going uh, monthly conference calls where we do we talk about everything business. We use spirit, spiritual and practical methods in regards to how to either start, maintain, or grow your business. Um, you can also get on a complimentary discovery call with me uh, to see if I can help you in your business endeavors. Uh, also, I want to shout out New York, LA, Chicago, Dallas, Houston, Atlanta, Philadelphia, London, Florida, Minneapolis, and Australia. I have high viewership there, so thank you. I am live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night at 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, so catch me then. Thank you. Many blessings to you. Take care. We were meant to create. Sometimes our desires to create are blocked spiritually, mentally, emotionally, or even physically. And this prevents us from reaching our highest aspirations. If you are an entrepreneur or you would like to become one and you're in need of some sage advice and direction, then you're in the right place. As a successful entrepreneur, spiritual guide, and intuitive business coach, I can offer you the clarity and support you need to find success and reach your goals. With decades of experience as a trusted tarot card reader, a franchise owner, my practical and spiritual approach to entrepreneurship will help you reach your full potential as an established business owner. Whether you're struggling with making tough decisions or simply trying to find your path in life, I can help you learn the tools you need to create your business dreams. Take some time today and schedule your free consultation with me so that we can begin to make your business dreams a reality.